I'm back! Oh my goodness! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I have missed, I have missed saying that. I have honestly had, I feel like I had mum guilt or some form of guilt that I've never felt before in regards to my YouTube channel. Please do ignore my appearance. I'm going to give you a quick update before I get into this video. But I couldn't just come in with a video and not apologise for my absence. I can't believe I've not posted in like over three weeks now. I hate myself for it and there's no excuse apart from the fact I've been unbelievably busy since the restrictions have changed. I have been working like never before. I feel like I'm literally catching up on a year's worth of shoots, a year's worth of just honestly everything that's not been able to happen because of Covid is now happening. Also guys, sorry, my pyjamas. Can you cope? A Primark special, brand new. If you want them, get down there now. Sidetrack, sorry. I am fully back on the YouTube grind now, she's back, videos coming left, right and centre, you're not ready for it. I'm coming to you from London, United Kingdom right now, I have been shooting all day today, a really really exciting shoot and I'm shooting again for the same thing tomorrow and then finally I am going home, back to Manchester in the evening, I've been in London for like over 10 days now, um, I've had the best time actually, I've enjoyed my time in London so much, it's been so nice to be down here working every single day, I've been so unbelievably busy but I've been loving it. I have got a hair mask in my hair by the way, it's not this greasy like it's actually a hair mask i just wanted to come back on here and say hi because i feel like i've been so absent and i've absolutely hated it i've just been on the phone to my sister and we were having a long chat and i was like genuinely the guilt i felt when i get dms from you guys being like where are you like i miss you like your videos help me so much like i'm missing you like i cannot explain how that makes me feel and youtube is honestly my favorite favorite thing in the world and i let my i feel like i let myself down so much when i'm not on here for you guys anyway that's enough from me in my dumbo pajamas in this random random tiny toilet i'm literally straddling a toilet seat right now resting my camera on i don't do you know what we're just gonna get straight into the video i love you guys and i hope you enjoy Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So you're joining me in my wardrobe room. Why am I saying that? Like you don't always join me in my wardrobe room. I'm just never sat like on my chair in the middle of the room. That's why it feels different. Um, I'm having a bit of a stressed five minutes. I'm enjoying my period any second now. I feel like I'm saying that in every single video at the moment. I'm like always during my period. I have like 100 periods a year. Um, yeah, no, I'm during my period, so I'm just like really stressed out right now. But I have actually just started the process of decluttering my wardrobe. I actually meant to turn this into a YouTube video and my head has been that boggled today and I've been that all over the place that I literally started decluttering it without starting the YouTube video. So hi, we've not missed too much, don't worry. The job has just been started, but this is gonna be a mammoth, mammoth job. And I thought I might as well film it. My wardrobe room is a massive part of me. I feel like I spend 90% of my life in here. I film my videos in here. Obviously clothes are my job so it's just a massive part of my life. So yeah I definitely thought I'd film it for you guys and show you the process of me decluttering it. I have accumulated a decent disgusting amount of clothes over the last couple of years since coming out of Love Island. I hoarded clothes before that. I think it would be a bit weird if I wasn't obsessed with clothes as an influencer so I'm not going to feel too bad about the accumulation, the accumulation is ridiculous. I've got so much to do. Realistically, on a day when you're super stressed and you know, you, I'm just all over the place today, is it the best job to start? Probably not, probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway because maybe this will make me feel better. I, I don't think it will. I, I don't think it will. I think it's gonna make me more stressed out because I know it's not gonna get done today and it's just gonna be one of those jobs that takes about two weeks to complete. My DMs are inundated they are inundated with you guys wanting the clothes happy to take them off your hands what are you doing with the clothes are you making a depop are you giving these away i don't know yet is a simple answer realistically i would love to do a huge giveaway um where a few of you had the opportunity to take these clothes um and and get the joy out of them that i'm not at the moment because not one person can wear all this stuff i would love to give them away but with the situations that i faced with my last giveaway with me trying to people trying to get me in trouble, which I'm not gonna bring it back up again because I've spoken about that about 50 times now. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna go about it. Whether I set up a Depop and then give the money to charity. I know that it's selfish to have this much stuff. Like I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. One person does not need, need this much stuff, especially when I live my life in joggers and a sweatshirt or a hoodie and sliders at the moment. 
I've got something in my stack in my tooth, lovely. This is where we're at so far. That blue and green stuff there is brand new Pangea stuff, so that is not going. Um, but this is the pile so far. It doesn't look like that much stuff, but it is quite deep. There is stuff here with literal tags on that I've not even worn um, and haven't worn for like two years. Obviously being an influencer, I am gifted and sent so many beautiful pieces and I always want to get around to wearing them, but when you have this much stuff, like it's physically not possible and i know people are probably going to come for me in this video being like it's just ridiculous like influencers get sent so much but this is just the reality of it and that is why i'm going to find out a way to give you guys some of this stuff to be honest i don't think i could even fit my baby toe into these anymore i think they're like a size six they will never fit me anymore um the things like this i just i don't tend to reach for i'm not really a trouser girl anymore i used to wear so many pairs of trousers um i just don't tend to reach for them anymore so i've got like loads of chinos leather pants here shoe shelf i'm not too concerned about i don't feel like i need to be um sorting that out too much on there are mainly shoes that i do reach for every single day i did have a little organizer this corner the other day um these baskets are now organized i do want to be giving away some of this stuff too um and i had a little organizer of this corner all my little achievements not the champagne that's not an achievement i got gifted that but um i've started a very mammoth task on a day where i'm not feeling 100 percent but it's fine at least it's been started now and i know now i've started it i won't have a choice other than to get it done um i look so like my lipstick where's that gone where is the lipstick gone i couldn't tell you it's only like 12 o'clock in the day who really needs two of the same jumper? That's what I mean, like I didn't even realize I had two of this jumper in there. They're both in a size large, so eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this one, and one of you guys can have that. Apple Watch, I really would appreciate it if you could stop. Yeah, I need ya so bad. rid however is i'm sorry can we just take a moment of pure silence for this because have you ever seen a more beautiful jacket a, a more beautiful beautiful she is just everything everything and more i saw someone comment on my picture when i wore this they were saying that's your outfit to wear to the funeral of lockdown i was like sorry that is it i should have captured this is my lockdown funeral outfit absolutely i'm so here for it guys can i just say like i can't stand by the window because like about a billion people know where i live like, 60 girls walking past and they're staring at me and hi uh, uh, uh. don't mind the cuddly toys on the bed i was gonna move them but then i thought you know what why am i trying to act like i don't have cuddle like me until we don't have cuddly toys on the bed like i'm not about here i'm not out here trying to act like we don't act like we're 13 when we're both actually 21 year old adults sorry to like interrupt this wardrobe decluttering video but i feel like it's only right that i give you like a bit of an update on what's been going on the last literally like 10 hours. Basically, Tommy's gone to Vegas. Tommy's gone to Las Vegas. Um, he left about two hours ago. He has had the opportunity to join Tyson's camp over in Vegas to train for his next fight, which is like the most insane opportunity ever. If I was to be a little bit selfish, I am now sad that I am alone because I, we're just obsessed with each other and we spend every single minute together. We have extremely, extremely small circles. Like I literally have about five people in my circle. And so he's basically like my life. And I always say this, I don't people to think I depend on him, but at the same time, we are a very, very tight knit couple. We do everything together. We like, we're just constantly together. If you know me and Tommy in a close way, like, you know, we're just always together. We're like peas in a pod. So when he goes away, when I go away, like we, it's just sad. I think, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before in another video, but I do now have to pay a lot of money a month for a, an extremely high security for the apartment. Um, we had a few incidents. I just don't really feel safe anywhere anymore. I didn't feel safe in our last apartment. I don't really feel safe. I don't really feel safe anywhere anymore because I just feel like no matter how much you try and keep your life private, when you're in the public eye, like your life is never private. It honestly baffles me. Like I have no understanding of how, but the amount of 
PR packages I receive every single day from people from all over the UK that know my address. I feel like one brand got hold of my address and have just sent it round. That's what I feel like has happened because there's just no possible way that these all these different people know my address. Like the other day, I actually had somebody turn up at the front gate, ringing the gate, saying they travelled five hours to um, the town they knew I lived in, and then and then just drove all around where we live to find our house. So now I've basically redone the whole security plan for the next month, so that I have basically a permanent security car sat outside the front of the apartment so I know I'm a hundred percent safe because like when Tommy hit when Tommy's here it's one thing but when I'm here by myself like I obviously just want that reassurance that I know I'm 100% safe. As much as I obviously appreciate PR parcels and I know people want to get their businesses out there it's just um it's really hard like I'm sure you wouldn't like it if people knew where you guys lived and um I never want to sound like I'm complaining because I it's just one of the situations you know like I it's hard to explain. I'm gonna carry on working in my wardrobe room. I did actually set up a Depop today. So that's what I have decided to do with the clothes because I have never in my life had so many requests for one thing. And the Depop was like, Depop, Depop, Depop. Like we want a Depop. So I was like, okay, right, I'm gonna make a Depop. And then the money that I make from the Depop, I'm gonna give to charity. Uh, pretty much all of it's already sold. So I don't know how that happened, but I think cause some of it is actually really nice stuff. It's all like House of CB dresses, Oh Polly dresses. See, so yeah, I uploaded a few things earlier. I don't know if you guys can see. But sold, 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 sold. Um, so yeah, I feel like things are gonna sell straight away on here. The reality of my wardrobe room. A drum roll, please. <laughs> this is the reality of it. And that pile has tipped over and fallen everywhere. It was actually literally up here. This here is the pile of stuff that I've already taken pictures of and popped up on my Depop. And this is the pile that I need to work my way through. And 60% of this stuff is literally new with tags. So yeah, it's just crazy. I need to work my way through this. If I was to pick people at random, like then not everybody would get the chance to get their hands on stuff that they've seen on my Instagram that they may really, really, really want. Um, excuse me. So this is just, um, this is the best way of doing it, I think. And then the money that I make, I will be donating to charity. In fact, I've not decided what charity yet. So maybe comment down below some ideas of charities that you guys would love me to give the stuff to. I'm thinking about splitting up the money and giving it to multiple charities of your guys' choice. So let me know any charities. I have loads in my mind that I'd love to donate to, but I'd love your guys' suggestions too. Completely irrelevant, but I came on my period last night. I actually think I mentioned at the start of the video that I was due on my period. And, um, oh my goodness, like, I get the most excruciating period pains. And I have now for years. And I've been to the doctor so many times about it. And they've said the only way to stop my period pains is to go on the pill. So I've gone on loads of different pills. I've tried loads of different pills. And oh, the pill is not for me. Okay, I've definitely had this conversation with you guys before as well. The pill's not for me. I've tried at least five different types of pills now on each one had crazy side effects on me crazy side effects so we're not going back down that route again but last night i was up rocking on the mattress crying i nearly called myself an ambulance it was that bad i was like this cannot physically be normal or like bearable for anybody like everyone's like yeah i get period pains and i just feel like you can't get period pains the same way i do because if I get, if I know I'm coming on my period, I have to make sure I've got nothing in on that day so that I can be prepared to spend the whole day in bed crying. I mentioned to my doctor that it could be endometriosis, but she's sure that it's not. So I don't know. We're, we're on a bit of a dodgy road with it. I feel extremely bloated um, and just really hot and sweaty and stressed. I'll pop some music on, grab my Coke Zero and just work my way through some of this stuff. I'm going to set up my ring light as well. So I've got good lighting so you guys can see the items properly and stuff because my photography skills earlier for the Depop stuff, it, they weren't great. They weren't great. Okay, so it's quarter past midnight. I have been in here the whole time sorting everything out and I had the maddest experience. I was on FaceTime to my sister and I was like, can you just check this Depop? What do you think? Like, should I put it on my Instagram or should I wait till I've uploaded more? She said, just put it out on your Instagram. Anyway, I put my Depop out on my Instagram. I refreshed the Instagram, the Depop once, refreshed the Depop twice and it everything every single thing on the depop had sold i've never seen anything like it in my life this is what i'm sat next to right now i'm actually embarrassed to be showing you guys this but it's an ocean of clothes it's and it's not like it's just one layer either like this like for example underneath here there's like oh my god guys i cannot explain how much stuff it's literally nearly half past midnight and i'm up running around like an erratic 
headless chicken. So I'm gonna call it a day for now. I will just continue vlogging tomorrow. So night guys, love you all. Hey gang, hope we're all doing well. I'm not quite sure where I left off last on this video, but I thought I might as well carry on vlogging now considering I am doing a job related to the wardrobe declutter, which is getting ready to post the Depop parcels. Now I've written out some little notes here. I've only got 15 here and it's taking me ages. I'm only writing something really, really small inside. Um, but I'm just doing little individual notes for each parcel. And then, then I have the mammoth job of packing them all up. And I did intend to have some help doing this, but I'm actually traveling to London first thing tomorrow. And because everything sold so quickly and I kind of wasn't really prepared, just wasn't really prepared for it, to be honest, and um, for everything to sell like that, I um, now have a bit of a rush and a scramble to get everything posted so that I don't annoy people and upset people with late deliveries because I know what people on Depop can be like. I've been there. Um, before Love Island where people just get so angry if it's not posted. I'm not PLT, like I don't have next day delivery, guys, please just bear with me, but I will be as quick as I can with it. Hopefully I'll get them all posted tomorrow. I'm actually shooting, um, I, can't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, am I allowed to say? Basically, I'm shooting something for a magazine. Um, something very, very, very big and exciting. You guys will see, you guys will see it. Um, I'm so, so, so excited about it. Sorry, I can't multitask, I can't write and talk at the same time. So I'm just gonna carry on writing these notes. <laughs> Hi guys, me again, back to current time in London. That footage from that video was filmed quite some time ago now. And actually since then, Tommy didn't even go to Vegas. I have like so much to catch you up on and I will obviously do a, I'm gonna do a week's vlog, fully catching up on everything in my next video. Yeah, he didn't actually end up going to Vegas. He got all the way to Heathrow Airport and I honestly, I've never felt more sorry for him in my entire life, like it was horrendous. He got all the way there and basically America didn't approve the paperwork. Basically they're not accepting new esters or something. I'd, something to do with obviously COVID and he completely understood and just said, okay, like fair enough. So he came home from Heathrow, unpacked all his stuff and is now in his training camp in the UK. And my heart literally broke for him because he was so, 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 so excited for that opportunity. But these things happen. And I'm so excited to get home to him tomorrow and see him. I actually cannot get over these Dumbo pyjamas. They are life. I'm obsessed. Honestly, if you want to come for me in the comment section about how pants this video has been, go for it. I'm not even going to be angry at you for it because, to be honest, I'd be annoyed too. I'd be annoyed too, like, coming back after three weeks with this shambles of a video. And also, why is my camera like this in the whole video? <sighs> Guys, I know you're going to forgive me for this one. I know you're going to forgive me because I'm going to come back better and stronger and not as moody, I was really moody in this video, wasn't I? I was like, period this, period that, moody, stress. Molly, like, give it a rest, no one cares. It's midnight and I'm up at 6 a.m. Love that for me. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I am so sorry for my absence again. Thank you so much for being so amazing and patient and kind. I love you all so much. The love is real and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.